Hey everyone, welcome back to Roan Real. I'm JP, and today I'm going to be telling you about the top 10 gifts that I think anybody in fly fishing is going to want. When we're looking at these, we're going to be going from usefulness to novelty. Now, just because it's a novelty, I would not necessarily discount that and say that that's a bad gift because there are a lot of novelty gifts out there that people want. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna get started with number one. Number one is actually kind of a number one and number two. That being said, number one, a net. Now, um, I've got probably four or five nets just laying around. Sometimes I'll get in a hurry in the morning and I'll take off and I'll leave my net behind. So um, instead of going all the way back a couple hours, uh, I just buy another net. Now that's just me. And uh, sometimes too, you know, you lend one out and it never comes back or you lend one out because you want somebody to have one. So just because they have a net does not mean that you necessarily can't buy them another one. Uh, maybe they want one with a cool logo like this Ventures Fly Company or uh, my other net that I have. It's a local fly shop, uh, Kern River Fly Fishing. So maybe they want one of those special nets. Maybe they want a new upgraded net. It does not matter. So you can get a really nice net for about $25. And there is no reason to split on a net for that person unless they have specifically asked for you know this carbon fiber self-floating uh, long net and all that different stuff now if they do fish from a boat uh, you want that handle to be a little bit longer if they are fishing uh, you know just waiting in the water a nice short handle will do um, either way you want to make sure that it's got this nice silicone basket you want it to be deep preferably about 10 inches uh, the good thing is you can always change these baskets out so this can be something that they can always upgrade uh, or modify in the future that being said make sure that it is a silicone uh, rubber basket on that net because you want it to be as gentle to the fish as possible now I told you that this net was a two-in-one so let's go ahead and look at that second gift and that being a net retainer a net holder a net release whatever it is um, it's a magnet that holds it up it's got a clip to position it wherever you want you can put it on the back of your waders you can put it on a backpack uh, you can hang it down on your belt I really like these ones that also have a bungee type cord attached to them um, and a nice strong magnet uh, the last thing you want to do is to get it all situated and then go to walk and then get caught on something and pull loose this one actually has some good retention and this also comes from ventures fly company now i'm not really affiliated with ventures fly company they send me things to test out um, but i give them my true honest opinion and this is one of those things that i really like it's also only about 14.95 i think or 15 dollars somewhere around there um, so you can check that out. Links are always in the description. Uh, you're also welcome to go and go to your local fly shop, ask for what they're using because they use these too. And um, you can also find them on your own. Look on Amazon. I'm sure they're all over the internet. There is nothing special about a nice USA made uh, or, you know, 40 or $50 uh, net release. There's, there's nothing. They use the same thing. It's just marketing. Now the next thing that I recommend is a good set of forceps. Now the reason that these are all at the top of my list is because you can never have too many of them. They're very easy to get misplaced. I don't know how many times I've lost a set of forceps again. Uh, you run off with them, you leave them attached to a different pack, maybe you've got them in a different set of waders. Uh, whatever it is, it's always nice to have a second set. Um, I don't know how many sets of pliers that I have that my buddies, I'm like, hey, toss me your pliers, I don't have mine, and then I hang on to theirs. So they're missing those pliers too. These are always useful and therefore always a nice gift no matter how many sets that they have. Uh, these ones specifically, this is a set of the Loons. I really like these ones because it's got a built-in clip in the handle. Um, these are right-handed forceps. Uh, my daughter's left-handed and she has a really hard time using these, so that might be something to look into uh, because, you know, it's an opposite, it's an opposite push-pull mechanism that releases those, so way easier in the right hand. Um, also, they have, a, um, they have an eye clearing uh, tool right in the middle here. They've got built-in scissors. They are also smooth, so they work really nice for crimping those barbs. Like I said, they're nice to clip on anywhere that you want them, throw them in your pack. It's always nice to have a second set. Now, we're getting into that last very specific gift. Uh, that I'm recommending and this is a set of neoprene socks. Now these neoprene socks, uh, these ones specifically are Reddington, Sims makes a really good set, um, I've seen Orvis, uh, Patagonia makes a good set. Uh, they're all right around the same price and that's $50 or under. If you can get a set for about 40 bucks from those name brands then you're really doing a good job. Um, these ones were like $49.95 my local fly shop 
and um, you want the ones that fold down, they attach, they keep the gravel and things out. You also want them to have, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got this different type of material along the back and the sole. And what that does is that makes sure that, you know, sometimes you have to walk long distances. It keeps it from wearing through because if you wear through here, it kind of defeats the purpose of, uh, you know, protecting your feet and keeping them warm. Now, these work excellent for float tubes. They work excellent for wet waiting. Um, to where the water's cold, but the air is warm. For example, I'm gonna be using these because I'm gonna be surf fishing in the back here. And um, I'm gonna be using these just with my set of wading boots um, in my shorts and t-shirt and things. I won't actually be in waders because it's 75 degrees out here, but the water is 53 degrees or 55 degrees. So it's just enough to give you a bit of a chill, but you might wanna stay warm. This isn't necessarily a need to have or a have to have gift, but this is a very nice bonus for those other types of situations. What we're talking about here is getting gifts for somebody that's already into the fishing game. Uh, and you're just looking for something to help them out. Odds are, that, you know, who wants to spend 50 bucks on a pair of socks? Odds are that uh, they're not gonna spend their own money. So that's where you come in, right? And this is a very nice gift to give. All right, now what are we on? Uh, gift recommendation number five. Uh, this one here is a water thermometer. Now you can find these in a pool store for fairly cheap. Uh, the ones in the fly fishing shops are usually pretty expensive. I picked this one up at my local pool supply for like six bucks or something. So this is a great stocking stuffer. This is also an accessory that most fly fishermen should have, but they don't always do. A lot of times we look at the fishing charts, we look at the uh, fishing reports and it tells us what the water temperature is, but there are certain times of the year to where the water temperature is great for fishing in the morning and then it might exceed uh, you know the level that is safe for the fish in the afternoon and so that is something we want to look for also it might come back down in the evening and so we'll be looking at water temperature to see which is best for the fishing at that time again this is not an expensive gift uh, but it is a very thoughtful gift and it is a very useful gift for anybody that's fishing also like most of these things uh, it's very easy to misplace and so it's always nice to have an extra laying around uh, in different kits different bags um, you know different sets of waders different boxes it depends on where they're storing everything it's really nice to have an extra one there uh, just in case they lose it uh, they don't have to go searching for it and then it's just laying right there so you can never have too many of these now we're getting a little different, uh, unique gifts, uh, different types of things that uh, maybe you wouldn't necessarily recommend or see in a local fly shop. Uh, this one specifically is a Rogue Fishing uh, phone holder. I love this thing. Um, I use it in my float tube. I use it in a kayak. I use it uh, whenever I'm just out fly fishing on a river and I'm in my waders. Uh, this is great. You, you can connect it to one side. This wraps around your phone. Let me show you how that works. Right, so you got your phone, it comes around one corner, comes around another corner, right? Boom, boom, done. Now your phone, so you can go bungee jumping, right? Just hang out there. And a lot of times you're trying to wrestle that fish, you're trying to do your best to keep it in the water at all times. You're trying to keep it uh, nice and comfortable, right? You're trying to get that, that picture for the Instagram, right? Road and Reel, by the way, give me a follow. Um, but you wanna make sure that everything is there and you don't wanna to have to worry about your phone because obviously that fish is way more important than your phone. So you got this connected, okay? Let your phone dangle, release the fish, and then you got your phone and you can put it backwards safe. Okay, really cool, also not very expensive, 10 bucks or something. Again, Rogue Fishing, I'm not affiliated, but I do love their stuff. And that Facebook ad that they had, if you're watching Rogue Fishing, that Facebook ad, uh, it got me, got me to buy your stuff. All right, I have lost count of what gift we are on. I think we're on like gift six or seven. Uh, I know that it's gonna equal 10 at the end, and then I've got a bonus one for you. But um, these here are just cool. Um, everybody needs a wading belt that automatically, when you put a wading belt on, it increases your, your safety on the water, uh, keeps, um, if you fall in, take a dunk or something, keeps that water from filling up your waders super fast, uh, right? You got your, your wading belt that everybody should have, right? And this one can fit nice and snug, right? Ooh, yeah, I gotta lose some weight. Uh, but anyway, this is a great accessory. So specifically what this one is, uh, this one actually goes to supporting local waters, uh, restoring uh, native fisheries, restoring trout habitats and things like this. And this one is uh, Rep Your Water. So these aren't very expensive. Uh, Rep Your Water has them on their website. Most local fly shops have them. Uh, you can get them in rainbow trout, brook trout, brown trout, 
I believe they have some other ones. I, they probably have a cutthroat trout or something like that. Uh, but go online, check it out, and uh, see exactly what they have to offer. I'm sure that you're gonna find something that fits your person's style, right? Who doesn't like a little fashion on the water? Like, uh, you know, everybody out there and be like, hey man, that's a really nice cast, nice tight loops, right? But then you get out there and it's like, oh dude, where'd you get that belt? That thing is sweet, right? Everybody loves their belt, <laughs> right? So make sure that you check those out. These are always cool to give. And I guess that's starting to get into the novelty aspect of these gifts that I have to recommend. So let's check out this next one. Now this next gift, this next gift is a flask. Now you can get flasks that have all kinds of things on them. Did I say flask or flask? Either way, flask that have all kinds of designs on them. I've got designs that are, are you know, with buffaloes on them or North American bison. Um, but they say uh, I'd rather be in the mountains or I hate all people or whatever it is, right? So this one here I picked up from Moonshine Rod Company. Um, I actually got it when I got my nine weight from them. Uh, I got this for like an extra 20 bucks or something. So you can get these virtually anywhere online. Uh, look for something unique. Look for something that uh, fits the person that you're shopping for. Uh, obviously don't get sloshed and fall into the river and drown and then become fish food for the fish that you're trying to catch, right? That's not the goal here. The goal is maybe after fishing, uh, talking about those catches that got away, right? Or the big fish that you lost or the big fish that you landed even. You can put your favorite distilled beverage in here and, uh, you know, have a good time. All right. Now this next one's a secret. N nobody's going to see this coming. I guarantee you, you won't see this coming. Are uh, you ready? You're not ready. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Hot hands. These things are amazing i you can tell i buy boxes of them i get them on amazon i just have them shipped to my house like once a year and this usually lasts for an entire year for me these are nice you throw them in your waders throw them in your jacket pockets whatever it is your hands get wet release a fish um you put your hands back in there warm back up tie your knots whatever you got to do and uh, these are always there waiting for you uh so again i recommend these um I do not recommend, however, putting these in your pocket with a lighter and then falling asleep. That was the worst dream I had. I, I had a dream that somebody shot me in the stomach like during a robbery or something, and only to wake up and find out that the lighter exploded in my pocket. So I do not recommend that. Only use the hot hands by themselves. Don't have a lighter in your pocket with you. But makes an excellent gift and it is both useful and a novelty they'll probably laugh at it first and be like oh hey thanks for the box of uh hand warmers but then whenever they come in you know they're going to be buying these the rest of their lives so i recommend it and last but not least number 10 and that is a cool hat now this hat specifically look at that hair this hat specifically is a really cool one um they're not for sale right now. These are just going out to my members. So if you want to become a member, become a member. If you are a member, make sure that you contact me so that I send one of these out to you. And uh, these will be coming in and out of stock over time. I do plan on selling them in the future, but you don't always have to get my hat. Uh, Ventures Fly Company makes some really good hats. Uh, another shout out to Ventures Fly Company, right? Patagonia makes good hats. Uh, Orvis has some good hats. Rep Your Water makes some amazing hats, and they're actually some of my favorite hats. Um, but any of the major fly fishing companies, right? Sneak out to the garage, see what fly rod they're fishing with, look at that name brand, go type it into the Google, and uh, it will take you to a website, and I'm sure that website will sell hats. Order a hat, get it coming, they're usually about $25 to $35, and uh, you can have a nice cool hat to open up as a present. And I think that's about it. So if you found any of this useful, make sure you hit that like button. In the future, I will be going over some other gift guides or some not gift giving guides, right? Things that you should never get anybody that's in the fly fishing game or fishing game or anything like that, right? So I'll be coming out with some of those videos. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date on those. Consider checking out other parts of my channel. And uh, you heard me say it earlier, check out Road and Reel on Instagram. Uh, I'm trying to get that going as well. So I got some giveaways coming out in the future and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. So again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Beer koozies are also great. This one's a little vest. And the zipper works and everything like, got little armholes, little pockets, right? These are always great. Who makes this one? Puffin, Puffin makes this one. All right, but go down to their local shop, the local fly shop, local brewery, wherever, and pick them up some koozies. Everybody loves a koozie.